On July 14th, 4.50 at 11 a.m., the same day and at the same hour, the messengers of Attila communicated to the two Roman emperors, Theodosius and Valentinian, an identical message. Attila, my master and yours, commands you to prepare a palace for him as he is coming. Again, Attila has planned everything to demonstrate to the dazzled people the situation dependent on the Roman empires. After that, all kings and vassal chiefs were ordered to mobilize the armies for a new great war. The allies were proposed to dispatch corps of volunteers. The prestige of Attila was so high that the mobilization took place without difficulty. Everyone knew that a great war against the Roman Empire of the East was won without much loss. And that the warriors had many trophies and booty. Soon the first detachments, coming from the East, began to concentrate near the capital of the Huns. Looking at a Siberian prince who passes in front of their house with his offices, dressed in furs, Julia trembles. This time, Attila will wage war against the Western Empire, our country. Orestes replies, This is the inevitable result of the invitation of the Augusta Honoria. This war will be absolutely legitimate. It will finally bring about the union of the Romans and the Huns. Julia gets angry. Stop justifying all the actions of Attila. Certainly, he aspires to union with the Romans but his wild soldiers, often coming from far away, aspire to booty. They will ravage our properties near Patavium. I suggest Attila the invasion in Gaul. Poor Gauls, they are also our fellow citizens. The majority of the courtiers in Ravenna and the senators in Rome understand that this conflict will, in fact, be a civil war. Everyone knows that we are with Attila to protect the Roman civilization. That is why our parents in Italy are not disturbed by the authorities and I do not feel any remorse. At the beginning of the year 451 Orestes left with his army towards the Rhine. Vast, king of the Riparian Franks, awaits him on the banks of the Necker. He is surrounded by tall and robust warriors dressed in a tight tunic, wearing a wide belt and holding javelins and two-edged axes. The red hair of the Franks, drawn towards the forehead, spreads over the top of the skull. They are well shaved and have narrow whiskers. Orestes explains, Attila waits for the horsemen of eastern Hunland, who must come across the great rivers of the Volga, the Don, and the Dnieper. The king sighs, unfortunately this year the Rhine is not frozen. All that's left is to build bridges. I left the Gepids in the Hercynian forest where they begin to cut trees for their construction. What are Attila's instructions for the conduct of the war? You are invited to act sometimes with my army, sometimes with the army of Wanges. Your army will be particularly useful for the siege of cities. Our Derek, king of the Gepids, is also under my command. But during our campaign in Gaul we must spare all the cities which surrender without resistance or declare themselves neutral in the conflict between Attila. Invited by the Augusta Honoria, and Aetius who refuses to recognize the legitimate rights of the princess. You know that I am the legitimate king of my people, my power is confirmed by Attila. The Northern Emperor, but my younger brother Ramaka, supported by the Romans, rebelled and now directs a part of our people. Imagine. He became an adopted son of Aetius and crowned by the Emperor Valentinian in Ravenna. Orestes is indignant. Aetius and Valentinian must not meddle in the affairs of your kingdom. A member of the Northern Federal Empire, the Huns have waged war against the Bergans to allow you to live quietly here between the Rhine and the Necker. In February 451, Attila began the Great War with the Roman Empire of the West. 
hundreds of thousands of warriors of the Hun army cross the Rhine and quickly occupy the northern half of Gaul from the Jura to the ocean. The frightened opponents estimate his army to be 500, and some, even to 700,000 warriors. The offensive of Attila in Gaul is not the War of Gaul, it is only the first major military operation of the Great War against the Western Roman Empire or even against the two Roman Empires. His previous war against the Eastern Roman Empire lasted almost six years. During this war, Attila carried out a raid for nearly 18 months far to the east. Perhaps over a distance of more than 2,000 kilometers from the Balkan front. Attila will surely win this new war to the west without hurrying for a few years. With minimal losses at least among his riders, Attila crossed the Rhine near the mouth of the Moselle. According to the fertile valley of this river, his army soon took Trier. An ancient northern capital of the empire besieged Metz, one of the most powerful Roman fortresses, which was taken after a relentless resistance of one month thanks to the machines of Edicon. The army of Edicon with the Ostrogoth army of Theodomir arrived from far under the walls of Metz. They entered Gaul by the eastern frontier and took care of the destruction of the fortresses and fortifications along the Rhine, took the towns August, Basel, Argentuaria, Colmar, and Bessensen. After this victory, Attila takes Reims and then advances towards Paris.